Okay, so I saw a YouTube video recently by Kaizen Tech Talk, and the title was Review Crow Pi L Real Raspberry Pi Laptop Don't Buy. Now, full disclosure, I got sent my laptop. I haven't been asked to make this video, uh, but I thought there's an important safety message in this video. Uh, so the Crow Pi L, I use my version of KDE. I've used it for RetroPi. I, I really like the fact that I can just put something in it boot it up and I'm up and running. I don't have to have anything plugged in. It's very, very convenient as a laptop. But the bit that came out in the video that's really important and the creator of the video ended up destroying his Pi 400. Uh, he's a teacher or in education and uh, was trying to see whether or not a Pi 400 with a monitor and, and uh, like a power bank was gonna be a better solution than the Crow Pi L. But in his tests, and having two USB-C adapters, uh, so like I've got here, so I've got the official Raspberry Pi adapter, and I've got the one that comes with the Crow Pi L, but you can see I've written on this one, uh, and I did this a while back because someone had warned me, uh, because I've got another 12 volt, two amp adapter, if we go in close. So this 12 volt, two amp adapter came with this Melee mini PC, and I love these mini PCs, they are really, really good. I've got two of them and I use it a lot. Uh, it, is, it is a really versatile device. But the adapter I use with mine, I've actually got my daughter to write 12 volt on it because I was very conscious that, uh, well, I use black cables in here uh, and I've got a cable that goes into my Pi and I've got a cable that goes into my Melee and when I need Windows, I switch over devices. And so I've always been conscious not to plug it into the wrong one but you could definitely see in a school environment, uh, these just look exactly the same. So the ends, without, without the writing on them, uh, they are just USB-C. So anybody could plug it into their phone or any device and possibly end up bricking it. The adapter that came with my M1 Mac is different. That supports lots of different standards. The writing's way too small for me to read. Uh, so it's up to 30 watt, uh, but it supports voltage, 20 volts, 15 volt, or nine volt or five volt. And I have used this with devices in the past. I'm not sure entirely if this broke my compute module four, this adapter. I was using it with various different carrier boards and uh, I think there's a possibility that, that this might have been detected wrongly and, and ended up breaking my compute module four, but I don't know that for sure. Um, but yeah, this is a 30 watt M1 MacBook charger and I do use it or have used it in the past with my Pi on a regular basis in my Pi 4, but I won't be doing it anymore just in case. Uh, now in the video, uh, in the description, there's a comment uh, from Core Electronics in Australia. While it is true to say USB PD devices will run on five to 20 volts, they all feature EMARC chips, which are meant to negotiate with the power supply and let it know once it is safe for the power supply to ratchet up the supply voltage. Otherwise, USB should always default to five volt output in the absence of power negotiation. Now, back in the 90s uh, and the 2000s, I used to work in a Sony center and we used to sell these adapters for 20 pound each. And uh, some of them, I remember there was a radio, it was 17.99. And if you wanted to power it from the mains, it was 20 pound for the adapter. Uh, and we always thought it was a cynical ploy uh, because you couldn't use um, any universal adapter because the pins were so small and they just didn't fit and they're all different sizes and different polarities and all sorts of things like that. Actually, it was, uh, it was Sony trying to save your equipment. They were doing good. So anyway, back to USB-C. Uh, I've plugged in my 12 volt 2 amp from my Melee Mini PC uh, into my M1 MacBook and I'm gonna switch it on. So, because you can use a Mac to tell uh, the spec of a charger. But actually these power adapters don't even show up. My Mac just ignores it and doesn't take, refuses to take power from it. So let's try the one from the Crow Pi L. So I'm plugged in, let's switch on. And nothing. So it doesn't recognize it at all. Let's try with the official Pi power adapter. And power on. Aha, we have a noise. Uh, so the official Pi power adapter is charging my MacBook, albeit slowly because it's a lower wattage. So with the Melee adapter plugged into my Mac, let's go to About This Mac and Overview and System Report. If we scroll down, we have Power. 
can see here, AC charger information, connected no, charging no. So it, it doesn't even recognize it at all. So let's plug in the Raspberry Pi one. So it's showing it's charging. I think I need to refresh this. I don't know if I can refresh it with F5. No, it doesn't look like it. So let's close that and let's do this. Oh, did, let's just do system report again and see what it does. Power. Yeah, here we go. Look, I wish it told me more information, but it just says connected. Uh, it says it's 15 watts, has uh, a number here and charging, yes. So let's plug in my official Mac charger, see what that tells me. So switch on again, and it obviously recognizes the Mac one. Uh, so let's close that and then do system report again. Uh, loads of information now, look, connected, yes, ID, wattage, family, serial number, name, manufacturer, hardware version, firmware version, charging, yes. So it's detected it at 30 watts. My solar powered power bank is plugged in, but it only manages to supply five watts, but at least it's recognized and it's working. And it also does this. And I've just plugged it into my uh, 60 watt Oroco charger. Now in this charge point, the one to the right of the USB cable, you can see there, uh, it was 15 watts. But in this one, the one with the display output as well, it shows up as 60 watts and it can deliver up to 24 volt, 120 watt, obviously with supported devices. So from the video, it, it's such a shame that the Pi 400 didn't reject it as an unrecognized USB-C device, but I recognize the power adapters as being non-compliant as the main culprit. Um, it would be nice to think that everything would do exactly what my Mac did. If it doesn't meet the criteria, it just blocks it. It doesn't even register that it's even there or plugged in. But I think the, the setup shown here with the small display and the power bank and the Pi 400, the Allocro is such a, a much neater prospect, but I can totally see what the user in the video is saying. They don't want these 12 volt USB-C adapters lying around in a school because they're just gonna end up wrecking lots of equipment. Now the uh, Crow Pi L definitely needs that level. It needs to be 12 volt but it just needs to have a power supply that is fully compliant and is only gonna give out five volt. And the same with the Melee uh, PCs and obviously lots of other equipment as well. This is just two things that I've found. I've got loads and loads of um, power adapters with various different things I've been sent and bought in the past. And uh, there may be more of them that are 12 volt, two amp and not USB-C compliant. So effectively dangerous towards some equipment. So they could end up just breaking some equipment. So I'd love to try this on loads of different devices and plug these power adapters in, but I'm too scared to do it. I plugged it into my Mac because I figured it, it supports 12 volt anyway uh, and supports higher than that. So I thought I was pretty safe and turns out I was lucky. Um, but uh, let me know how you've got on with USB-C adapters and compliance and if it's broken things in the past. As I say, it may have broken my Compute Module 4, but that might be down to the carrier board I was using. And I was using three different carrier boards at the time. So I, I really don't know which one, if any of them, broke it. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. It's worth watching. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.